Okay, so, um, hello, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. My name is Michael Edwards. I'm from Obsessed with Film. Um, my first question uh, is a bit of a broad one. Where do you think this revived interest in dance movies has come from? You know, I'm not sure. It seems like there's a revived interest in dance in general, like the show So You Think You Can Dance, and all these shows on MTV that are about dance, and all the Dancing with the Stars. Mm. So I'm not sure where, I mean, I think dance movies have always been really kind of beloved by the public, you know, flash dance, dirty dancing, it's, it's some, I don't know, I think it's music and movement and the beat, it's kind of like it's something, you know, we all can't help but kind of get into. <laughs> of the whole bunch of uh, dance movies, do you have a particular favorite? I think flash dance. I, th I nothing beats that to me. I can watch that over and over again. It's like, in the, the '80s music. It's like it's always. I can't help but like blast it. It's great. I love that it. That set the bar. Do you think for everything to surpass? I think so. I, th I think just because the dancing in it is so fantastic. That like awesome. the dancing is so good. And even though it's like none of it was her, <laughs> it was like still so fantastic to watch. And the other the dancers in the film, just amazing. And it was all you in this, was it? It was. I mean, I did have a great double um, named Julia Duhas, who I don't want to discredit at all because she was amazing. But the goal was to use me as much as possible in the film. So um, I learned everything. I did everything. And, you know, Julia was there and she would kind of, we'd kind of go back and forth because we'd both be so exhausted after doing it a few times that we'd kind of have to trade off. But after seeing the film, I was happy. I was like, okay, that's me. <laughs> they used me. So I feel, I felt really happy about that. And, and you've been dancing for a long time, have you? Or yeah, you I grew up wanting to be a dancer for many years and studied. Are you from a small town as well? Yeah, I guess originally I'm from a small town, but I started working at a young age, so I don't feel like, you know, Were you a working small town girl. as a bookkeeper? No. <laughs> yes, at 12 years old, I was working <laughs> as a bookkeeper. No, yeah, I started acting pretty young, and I went out to L.A. when I was 14, so I didn't have that same sort of small town, like, I've got to break out, you know, kind of feeling. I, I, always, I always was kind of in the city working and performing. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, I remember going on auditions for schools, for dance schools, and wearing the number, and, you mm. know, just being like, next. You know, it's really, it's pretty brutal, because it's, you know, you work so hard for it, and, and people So you, so you had a way in that wasn't flash dance then? What? You had a way into the film that wasn't just flash dance. Right. You didn't just watch flash dance as No, no. <laughs> I was, yeah, I did have a dance background. There are similarities with the two films. Oh, there though. definitely are. Although, yeah. uh, I don't know, I still think flash dance, you know, it was a bit harder there. Yeah. You know, she was a welder, and, and in this definitely. film, Lauren's a bookkeeper. bookkeeper. I know. It's a little softer, softer <laughs> core. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of also a film about feeling sexy, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I think it's about kind of finding, you know, sort of really being herself to the fullest. I think like in the film, she's very like, she has kind of a wall up in the beginning um, just because of all the things she's been through. And I think that it, I didn't want it to be like, oh, be sexy and everything's great. You know, I didn't want it to be that kind of cut and dry. So I, I think I for her. I think there, there felt like there were some very clearly inserted scenes of you eating junk food. Right, right, was exactly. Was that like a demand yeah. of yours? I don't want to be the cause of image yeah. problems in young girls no, today. There was one scene the writer had, had oh, uh, I don't think it's in the, in the film anymore, but it was something like she, somebody's reading her license and it said like, Oh, she's five nine and one hundred and five pounds, and I was like, "Are you kidding me? <laughs> Girls cannot <laughs> think that you, you're supposed to be five nine and one hundred and five pounds. That's terrible." So, yeah, there were little things like that that you just want to make sure that you're sending the right message because this isn't this isn't flash dance. That's like you know, for adults, this is something that's geared more towards younger girls. So you want to make sure you're setting the right message. Hmm. And it's a film full of urban music. Is that mm -hmm. is that with your own tastes? Not really. I mean, I think it's great for dancing and it's fun mm. to watch dancing too, but I, I don't really listen to it. I'm more like indie rock and I love like 60s music and stuff like that. Who are you um, listening to most at the moment? Um, at the moment, listening, I mean, some dance music. I've actually recently really gotten into a lot of dance music like Justice and mm. Hot Chip and stuff like that. But it's still kind of more in the indie flair, you know? Mm, yeah. Um, but I love, I also love girl groups. I love like the Shangri La's and the Ronettes and that type of stuff. Good selection. I like it. Um, I think uh, I want to ask another tricky question now. Um, of all the movies you've ever seen, is there one you'd particularly like to convert into a dance movie? Ooh, that is really tricky. Convert into a dance movie. Hmm. 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it would be kind of awkward, like to take a movie that's not a dance film. Yeah, it would be a bit like you know, in Be Kind Rewind when they Swede films. Right. And they look really weird. Yeah. It would be like that. It would be. So like you've got that. to think what would fit well. I think it would be cool to do a film, um, something like you know, the film Once, how it's like. Mm something really simple like that that's mm -hmm. just about like two people like then that's two people that happen to be musicians so it's kind of a musical because they're musicians but something that could be a dance film like that but wow, it's a dance cheating. film you need so, you need something like i don't know tron or gremlins and make them dance <laughs> that's what you need no but i mean like for me if i was going to do another dance film i'd want to be something simple like where it just happens to be like about a dancer you know it's not like this is a dance film you know it's something a little more simple like that I'm sorry. Where's your, where's your sense of adventure? <laughs> no, I would love to do something like that, but that's, that's not where my mind went. Yeah, no, no, I, I'm joking. I, I, I'm joking. <laughs> is dance the ultimate form of expression? I think music probably is, and then dance the, dance is kind of connected with that. So it's kind of it's kind of one with that. That was a good answer. I, I thought I thought that was going to be like whoa. I thought that was going to be that's, that's a tricky kind of philosophical mm -hmm. question. Um, Going back to the to the movie a little bit, I mean, you said earlier Lauren's the kind of girl who likes to you know, do things her own way, try and do things a little bit differently. Is that mm -hmm. something you'd like to say about yourself? I think so, definitely. I'm I'm very much. I think all the choices that I make in my career and everything just are just about my own personal taste and not really about what I should do at the moment or what's right for strategically and all that. It's just kind of based on if I feel like doing it or not, and then mm -hmm. I I trust those instincts and and kind of. Luckily, it's taken me to so cool you're places. So kind of a, a fun person, and you've been in a lot of fun films. Yeah, you've been like yeah. Pirates and Asian Three and Live Free or Die Hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Death Proof. Death Proof. That's Death right, Proof. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the most fun to do? They've all been incredibly fun, um, but I Death Proof I think beats them all just because it was just such fun people and and such fun kind of material. It was just like it just was it didn't feel like work. Yeah, well, I think he sets the bar of fun, you know? It's like there's the whole, the, there wasn't a single moment where it felt like, oh, we're working. It was like we're all just hanging out and having fun every day, all day, and there happens to be a camera there, you know? It just was, it was great. Mm, and uh, which director would you most like to work with? In the well, future? what's funny is I'm about to work with the director that I've like, have uh, wanted to work with for many years now, which is Edgar Wright. So mm. I'm, I'm extremely excited to work with him. Yeah. So, so you got in the answer to the question and a pitch for your next yes. project. Very clever, very clever. I like it. Okay. Um, I think we sped this pretty quickly, so I want one more fun question. Okay. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> have there been too many fun questions? Um, I think an essential <laughs> part of any dance movie mm -hmm. is the music-driven montage. The oh, montage the scene montage. where you achieve. Right. What's your favourite montage ever? Team America. <laughs> Team America, good choice. That's, that's a montage. You see, I was expecting a standard answer of something like Rocky, because the Rocky montage, yeah, famous that montage, that's you know, that's a great very classic uplifting, montage. very good. That's true, but you have, I had to go with the, the montage that spoofs all of the montages. Cool. <laughs> great. I think that's awesome. all I want. Thank you cool. very much. Thank you.